Have you ever looked up at the night sky and seen the moon looking completely red or orange? That's called a blood moon, but why does it happen? Let's find out. A blood moon happens during a special event called a total lunar eclipse. It occurs when the Earth comes exactly between the Sun and the Moon. Normally, sunlight falls directly on the Moon, and that's why it looks bright and white to us at night. But during a total lunar eclipse, the Earth blocks the sunlight from reaching the Moon. Now you might think, if Earth blocks the sunlight, shouldn't the Moon go completely dark? That's a good question. The Moon doesn't disappear because some sunlight still reaches it, but it travels through Earth's atmosphere first. Our atmosphere acts like a filter. It scatters away most of the blue and green light, but lets the red and orange light pass through and bend toward the moon. This red light gives the moon its beautiful reddish glow, and that's why we call it the blood moon. A blood moon doesn't happen very often. We usually get a few total lunar eclipses in a decade. Each one can last for a few hours depending on how perfectly the Earth, Sun, and Moon are lined up. Unlike solar eclipses, lunar eclipses are completely safe to watch. You don't need any special glasses, just step outside, look up, and enjoy nature's show. Some cultures even consider the blood moon a symbol of change or new beginnings, but scientifically it's simply a beautiful play of light and shadow in our solar system. So next time you see the moon turning red, you'll know. It's not scary, it's science. If you like this explanation, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting facts about space and science.